Well, he still owns the record for the longest title reign in UFC history, nearly 2,500 days. Anderson the Spider Silva, and I guess DC with no mandatory retirement age, this guy might go for it. Anderson Silva is one of the greatest fighters of all time. One of the guys that when you think of mixed martial arts and you think of the UFC, you immediately think of the Spider. You think of the highlight reel, winning the belt from Rich Franklin, the up kick on Vitor Belfort, the knee against Stefan Bonner, the bobbing and weaving against Forrest Griffin. He has a highlight reel a mile long, one of the most fantastic martial artists the sport has ever seen. And still proving to be competitive in his mid-40s, that is the goal again tonight for one of the best to ever do it, Anderson the Spider Silk. Silva has stepped inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, John, he puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we will probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC middleweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Anderson, the Spider Silva. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, is the veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. So here he is, the Muay Thai stylist, ex-gym product, Anderson Silva. We'll see how he approaches the early going here tonight. He has been a fast starter. Most of his UFC appearances have ended in round one or round two. We'll see how Silva approaches this challenge here. Oh, he lands a hook. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Makashev's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. There you go. Look for the shot. Circling to his right. Oh! And Silva, just a true mixed martial artist, has so much honor and respect for the game, and somewhat remarkable, still getting it done when matched up with the best man in the Solid punch from the clinch here. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Straight punch is true. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. So 
Silva gets caught with that punch. The biggest shot that he's landed. Oh, my God. oh huge shots being landed on both sides. He's rocked. Go forward. Go forward. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Threw a flying knee to the head. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. That hook was bad. This is a great fight. He gets to the single power tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Just touching him with the jab. Mike gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Lands a beautiful leg kick. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can. All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round of which there were a lot, including the strike that we believe was the one that opened up his lip. Heel. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. That one connected. All right, well, perhaps he has a point to prove. Perhaps there's a hip injury, but this man's UFC career has been defined by the takedown. He hasn't attempted a single one. He hasn't even attempted it. it. It's very surprising, and honestly, for a guy that enjoys the wrestling, it's very disappointing. Because to me, it seems like he doesn't want to put the effort out there tonight to try and secure takedowns. You take a lot of risk by not using your best skill, and you almost put your opponent on your level by being limited. Well, maybe he can hear us. Bro, if you don't attempt to take down DC, he's going to pull out his cellular telephone and start watching collegiate wrestling. Oh. So. Change numbers! <laughs> Silva's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, nice. Under three to go round two. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh! Boy, boy, boy. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat long. Oh, Trying to finish this fight. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, he's setting up an arm bar now. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take it. Archer, 
That was the end of the round, and thankfully it came right then and there for him. He was knocked down pretty significantly near the end of the round. That All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down, and most times you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually... Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Thank you. Huge kick to the leg. Oh, nice right in. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Now he's back up. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon. Thus far, both guys don't. Oh, the right hand is dead. Front leg kick. That's where he kicked his nest. We might get a stoppage here soon. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Islam Makachev. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may, because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.